Ovine pneumonia can be a huge problem for sheep farmers and meat companies. It's been estimated that the economic losses caused by the disease are close to $100 million each year. Research has been underway for some time at the Hopkirk Institute to identify the most common causes of the disease and produce a vaccine to combat them. Over pneumonia causes either death of lambs, weight loss of lambs, or problems at the works where they've got pleurisy at the works and so the chain has to be slowed down and bits have to be cut out and things like that. So it's a problem across the board. It is also a bit seasonal, usually in hot, dry summers. Different parts of the country have, have more problems. If it's hot and dry and dusty, it's, it's really a problem. The vaccine, they've tried to develop it for the last 20 odd years at least and there have always been problems. And there have been some vaccines from overseas they've tried and they don't really know why they haven't worked in New Zealand. In the last couple of years, Dr Tao Zeng, he was able to show that you could get cross-reactivity from one of the components of the vaccine against one other strain. In this case, we'd be vaccinating with one strain of mycoplasma and it would be covering against a different strain of mycoplasma. Last year we did a trial and we did some background work to decide what are the best adjuvants. You need an adjuvant in a vaccine to make the vaccine work better. Often better delivery and just that you do get a better vaccine. So we tried different adjuvants and from that we've decided which one is the best to use this year. So with the adjuvant we want to have a good immune response but not any site reactions or, or minimal site reactions because again that's a problem if you've got big site reactions when it goes to the works they've got to, they've got to cut out those, those, those areas um, of inflammation. We're doing a small trial this year in local lambs. If we get a really good response then we'll have to go into larger field trials. Hopefully we've got funding for next year to do that. And then after that it's just getting the formulations done by a commercial partner which is always important. We vaccinated our animals back in January. We vaccinated them twice. And then after that, the animals were exposed to the pneumonia organism. So that was a virus and a mycoplasma and a bacteria. And after that, we have um, slaughtered the animals and looked at their lungs macroscopically. So we're looking to see if it looks like pneumonia. The right apical lobe is 95% uh, consolidated. Yep. Yep. This is all normal lung tissue. And then these areas, these different lobes, the apical lobe and um, some of the cardiac lobes, they've got pneumonia and it's this dark hemorrhagic area and very consolidated. If you touch it, it's, it's very consolidated and firm as opposed to the nice, soft, sort of normal lung tissue. After that, we have cultured the samples and the culturing we've got onto agar plates and into special broths to see if we can recover the pneumonia organisms that we would have given them. What number? 6466. We also bled the animals several times so that we can see if their antibody levels are raising because for ovine pneumonia, antibody responses are quite critical. Normally lambs will get a lot of their antibodies from their mothers, so that can be some protection, but if they haven't got, the, or if their mothers aren't protected enough, then they won't have that maternal antibody. So that's why with the vaccine we want antibody responses. It's a bit harder to measure antibody in saliva, but we're going to attempt to do that as well. Acute pneumonia is often caused by Mannheimia hemolytica, used to be called Pastorella. And the other one that is implicated often around the country, and it's usually a more chronic, but it can be involved in the acute pneumonia as well, is Mycoplasma ovi pneumoniae. We have some challenges to get a vaccine against the two, um, two bacteria and different strains of those mycoplasmas and bacteria. So that's why we want a, what we call a multivalent vaccine. So it will, go, it will have several components to it rather than just against the bacteria. So we're looking for the mycoplasma and we're looking particularly also for the Mannheimia hemolytica to see if there's pneumonia, is it still being caused by those two organisms? 
and so from that we'll statistically be able to work out if the vaccine has been effective or not. This is a blood agar plate, it's one of the plates that is commonly used to grow a wide range of bacteria. It's been incubated aerobically just overnight and this is for 48 hours, so that's two nights. Any bacteria they like to grow in the air, it'll grow them really readily and it'll show different characteristics such as hemo hemolysis where they can break down the blood or it's just the colony size and shape is the other thing that we look for. So what I'm looking at is one of the bacteria that is um, most likely causing the pneumonia in this animal, the Mannheimer hemolytica. And I know that because it's size and shape and colour and a little bit of clearing of the blood around the colony. The reality is that the vaccine might not work in, on all animals. Um, they will all have their own immune responses and it will depend on the loading. Even though these animals would have been exposed to the same um, numbers of bacteria, you know, the conditions in the paddock would have been slightly different for them and they respond differently. Just a reminder for what farmers can do, they're probably doing most of these things already, but avoid mustering or doing things in hot, dry conditions. If you think you've got pneumonia and you've got a muster, then maybe set up some temporary yards and some paddocks. So probably the most practical thing is to try and get the sheep work done very, very early. I was speaking to some farmer the other day and he's saying, yeah, he does his work at four in the morning so that it's not too hot and dusty. It's really quite exciting to be working on something that you, you really want to make a difference. And um, yeah, I aim to yeah, be part of that if I can. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.